All I could see was people trying to get out of that parking lot as fast as they could, but there's only one way out, and I just continuously heard the pop, pop, pop. Three officers shot and a fourth injured in the parking lot of a coffee shop in northeast Albuquerque. Those officers trying to stop a robbery. Uh, the first uh, was an officer who was shot at the base of the neck uh, above his bulletproof vest. He was immediately taken to the operating room. The chaotic scene soon followed by a heavy police presence in that area and a search for suspects. And while that has come to an end, police this evening are still searching for answers. There is still a heavy police presence in the foothills this afternoon. Three police officers were shot this morning, a fourth injured while responding to reports of a robbery at the Dutch Brothers Coffee on Wantabo near Constitution. We have team coverage tonight. Let's get right to News 13, Stephanie Chavez, who's live at the scene. Stephanie? One of those officers is in critical condition this evening after undergoing emergency surgery. He was shot at the base of the neck just above his bulletproof vest. All indications we have at this point is one suspect did the firing of the shots. We did have the second suspect who fled the scene. Uh, stated earlier, we have uh, a few people in custody that we're looking at. Uh, we did have a, a witness ID one is positively, but somebody else didn't. So we're trying to filter our way to make sure we have the right people in the custody. The other two officers, officers who were shot are expected to be okay. One of them shot in their arm. The other was shot in the center of their bulletproof vest. A fourth hit with shrapnel or glass in the eye. APD says the officers responded to a robbery call at the Dutch Bros when police say one robber opened fire. That suspect was shot at the scene. There's no word right now on a condition. I happened to look down into my mirror and I saw the gunman in the parking lot and he was just shooting him off. Um, I watched the police officers come in. They got him down. Uh, he was just in the parking lot for a little while. Um, SWAT, everybody just kind of came in and did their thing. The other suspect took off on foot. Sky News captured video of tactical teams searching the area. That hours long search put the entire area on lockdown, including nearby schools. The search came to an end just after noon. It's unclear where they found the other suspect, but they say only the robber who was shot fired at police. Now, Chief Medina says one of the suspects may have a criminal history outside of New Mexico, but did not go into detail. Back to you. All right, thank you, Stephanie. Chief Harold Medina says a deadly crash along I-40 may have been connected to the shooting. It's a possibility. When I spoke, that we have some people in the custody and we're looking into others. Uh, that is the, one of the other factors that we're looking into. We believe that car possibly fled from us in the city of Albuquerque as we're conducting the search. Deputies were on scene of that crash where one person died and two people were taken to the hospital. Deputies say witnesses reported the vehicle speeding along I-40 near Central and Tramway. They say when it exited at Cedillo Hill and began rolling. The chief says they are looking into if and how this could be connected to the shooting scene in northeast Albuquerque.